Hello guys, welcome to another video. This video I believe is very important for literally everyone. For men, women, for parents, for kids, for everyone. Because in this video we are going to discuss about health, how to stay healthy and what to do you can accomplish your goals for staying healthy. So stay with me. Like for already two days, me and Gwen got to the situation when the Gwen is sick. Like Gwen is right here, little Coca-Cola being sick, suffering headaches or drought and horrible cough. Yeah. Yeah, and nothing is helping. Is it improving? No. Not really. My head's like exploding. Gwen's head is about to explode. So I'm going out to deal with those things so Gwen can feel better. And to make sure Gwen will not be alone here when I'm outside, we have a little friend over here. <laughs> little friend though. <laughs> little octopus will take care of Gwen when I'm away. What actually me and Gwen has in common, and I'm very glad for that, is that once we are sick, we are trying to avoid using the medicines, the painkillers, and so on. Those things, those pills, of course, it will help you and end your suffering, but still you should try to avoid those up until your sickness or disease is really like serious. For those painkillers, like once you have headache or any sore throat, I still believe you can still manage that even without those you will suffer, that's true. But still it's better to avoid those, to suffer the pain. And the pain will go away. It will take longer time, but it will still go away. What I can see all around to my friends or the people, once they have headache, the first thing they immediately grab is the painkillers, they will drink it and the pain is away. But what's happening? Your body will get keen on those painkillers. Your body will say, oh my god, I have headache. But I will not do anything because I know Jacob will drink the painkillers, so everything will be solved. <laughs> but in the future, your body will have no actions for resolving those troubles by itself it will always get keen on that you will drink those painkillers and that's all simply it means you will get addicted to those painkillers those pills and so on and your body immunity which is made for fighting with those diseases with those pains will literally go away or maybe it will still stay inside your body but it will not fight because your body is keen on that the pills will fight for that of course, once we are sick, most of the time we really can't avoid those medicines, those pills. The worst would be like going to the hospital. But what we can do, we can prevent from getting sick. How to prevent those things, I'm going to show you right now. Our body is, let's, let's say for explanation that our body is like a car. If you take care of the car, it's working. If not, it will break down. And the body is literally the same. If you are treating your body like it deserves, it will be working well. You will be healthy, you will not have joint issues, troubles, diseases and so on. So imagine, if I would fill her with some bad oil in the engine, the engine will break down. Or if I will be using cheap parts, the cheap parts will break earlier and you cannot go anymore. With the body is the same. If the diet is good, proper, the body is working. If people don't take care of themselves, they don't have proper diet, the body is getting sick. You are getting more diseases and so on. So everything with the health starts with the diet. All bodybuilders or sportsmen, everyone will say those the most important thing about their success. It's not really the training, but it's the diet. <laughs> Once Arnold Schwarzenegger, for sure you know him, the bodybuilder said like 80% is diet and just the left 20% is the training in the gym. So that's really crazy, like such a small amount of effort 
is lifting those weights, gym equipment, everything and 80% is, is what you eat, what you get inside your body. Right now guys we are in a place where the, all the thing about the diet starts and it's in the store and it's literally up to you what you will buy and if the diet will be worth it or not. Unfortunately the people's diet most of the time is bad like there is so many carbs in their diet very few of proteins and a huge amount of fats it doesn't mean that the fats and carbs are wrong but everything should be balanced besides of those the importance of the another macronutrients such as vitamins and minerals is also like blind to many people but it's actually the answer for you to stay healthy and right now we are reaching to the area well that all magic starts it's the place with fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables contains a huge amount of vitamins and minerals <laughs> let's say that once there is a cold weather, bad weather prone for diseases such as cold and flu, you should be eating like huge amount of vitamin C or generally all the vitamins, but vitamin C is the best. The king of the vitamin C in the vegetables is broccoli, but many people don't like the taste. For me, I kinda like broccoli but Gwen doesn't for the people who doesn't like broccoli the answer is kiwi which is the fruit with one of the highest amounts of vitamin C and the another thing what I'm really disappointed in people generally that people don't like cooking someone don't know how to cook and they are solving this with delivery delivering of pizza hamburgers everything like i don't say those things are unhealthy there is literally no food which is unhealthy there is always the amount which is unhealthy you are not going to be healthy if you are eating pizza every single day pizza once a week yeah nothing is wrong about it it has the nutrients you need all of those but every day it's really not bad so if i can ask you guys if you are not into cooking or you don't know just try it it's not the nuclear science to cook anything and so i am done with my groceries for gwen today and passing this place the place which is responsible for how people deal with their health issues, the drugstore. For once there is a little disease coming up, people immediately run to the drugstore for pills, for medicine, for anything, so they will get rid of that. Like, of course, it's not the bad way how to solve your problems, but still the better way how to manage your health issues is to prevent from getting sick we've been talking about diet things and we can move on to the health we have mental health and physical health how to improve your mental health well i will give you just one recommendation of mine which i'm really using and it really helped me and improved me and i can see the results so much in the past i've been a kind of person who will get angry like easily about anything little thing huge trouble i will get angry mad immediately it really made me sad that i did not want it to be like that so i started doing ice bathing currently i'm sitting here in the water cold water it's winter here in the czech republic so let's say the temperature of the water can be somewhere around 0 up to 5 degrees of celsius this is one of the ways how you can improve your mental health as well it improves your physical health the blood flow immunity 
but for me the most important why I do this is it helps me with my mental health how to handle my angriness it's very uncomfortable to start ice bathing out of nowhere if you are not keen on cold water you will not like it you will want to stop but that's what's stopping people from their progress the discipline you have to be disciplined to reach the goals you want to and that feeling of uncomfortability can make you to be sure that you are doing something good and if you are keep doing that there will be a good results and you can reach your goals enough with cold water for today if i convinced you to try the ice bath check one of our previous videos i'm talking there about ice bathing in more details and now we can move on to the last part of this video which is physical health and the last thing what i wanted to talk about is physical health how to keep your body healthy with any kind of activity well i can say it's much more easier to show it by action than explaining in the words for sure you will understand exercise guys exercise is the answer for your good physical health it can be literally any activity if it's body weight exercise how i just showed you or if it's going to the gym or if it's playing football basketball swimming it can be literally anything maybe some people will not like to hear this but the activity called couching which means laying on the couch is really not a good physical activity for your health but all those other things you will never do a mistake if you are doing it correctly properly and consistently your physical health will be getting better and in the end we have vitamins for Gwen so she can feel better faster what's that? vitamins mm. I told you I was craving this delicious kiwi yeah What? <laughs> it's so hard. And here we are guys, we are in the end of this video. What I want you to remember from this video are the three things like the number one is the diet. Remember guys on the diet, don't be afraid to cook, don't be lazy to cook, like Imagine once I was outside right now. I just put the chicken to the oven. It was cooking there I came home the dinner is ready easy nothing special The other thing the mental health take care of yourself not only from the outside how you look like how you appear But also very important maybe more important. It's how you feel inside your mental health and the third thing don't forget to get up from that couch right now after watching this video and do some activity so thank you guys for watching if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button for more content you can visit our channel we are making bunch of different videos with gwen take care always and see you next time